So those are all your skills. Now you have to put it together. For this quadratic, let's not look at this first because this tells me to factor fully. Let's look here first. Calculate the y-intercept. So to calculate the y-intercept, you're going to set x equals 0. So what that means is you're going to get y equals 2, 0 squared, plus 34 times 0, plus 60, which is simply 0 plus 0 plus 60, which is 60. Not so hard. And again, I could have read it right from the standard form. This is still standard form. The only difference is your a value is 2, which means it opens up and it has a step pattern of over 1 up to x squared. There's a vertical stretch here. It didn't change your y-intercept. It is still 60. Calculate your x-intercept. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a serious problem. I cannot solve that without factoring. And I can't just do a trinomial factoring. The number in front of it is not a 1. So I'm going to have to factor this. I'm going to come over here and do my factoring because there's more room. So I'm going to take 2x squared plus 34x plus 60. And the first thing I'm going to do is common factor. So I noticed that I could take a 2 out of 34 and out of 60 evenly. So now the question is, will that trinomial factor? Two numbers that multiply to give 30 and add to give 17. 15 and 2. And if I couldn't come up with them, I'd use a, a, a factor tree. They need to multiply to give a positive 30. So they're both positive or they're both negative. They add to give positive, so they're both positive. So lo and behold, that's a great uh, saying, isn't it? Lo and behold. We factored it, which means over here, we now have 0 equals 2, x plus 2, x plus 15. Now, let's be very clear about what this says over here. For some value of x that we're interested in, this right-hand side for that value of x will equal 0. So we're looking for a value of x that will make the right-hand side equal 0. Look at the 2. Does the 2 do anything to help us get to 0? No, it's just the 2. So if we're going to get to 0, either this term is 0 or this term is 0. Do you agree? Which means either x equals negative 2, I suppose I could, well, I could that. x equals negative 2 or x equals negative 15. Those are your two answers. I'm going to stop the video here. You guys are to continue with your practice and check your answers as you go.